special education major, which means that I'm super into working with kids, which means Boys and Girls Club is a perfect opportunity for me. Um, and I really want to encourage y'all to go. I know that turnout's increased a lot with Emma's new system of philanthropy club, uh, club committee, um, <laughs> setting up activities and events and stuff, but I really want to show y'all why that's super important and why we should go. Um, so this is, these are statistics from Webb Middle School. Actually, the kids that we work with this semester are primarily from Webb Primary School, which is the younger kids. Um, but these are some things that you can find on their website. You can see their star passwords over here from this past year. These are pretty low for the school district. I know some people have gone to schools that have like in the 90th percentile for every rate. Um, we see that 96.2% of these kids fall into an economically disadvantaged category, which is defined by the state as an income level of the family meeting, uh, meeting or below the requirements for uh, its reduced or free lunches. And so that's a huge, 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 huge number. Um, in addition, 81.3% are classified as English, English language learners. Excuse me, I need to learn English. Um, <laughs> which means that they are speaking a different language in the home. As you can see by the pie chart, it's pro most likely Spanish for most of these kids. Um, and that means that they're speaking a different language in the home. And then in school, they're pre predominantly focusing on English. Um, also, most of these kids have parents that don't have college educations, which means for a lot of them, we're their first exposure to college. This is super important because we serve as mentors for them in a way that some of them haven't seen before. Uh, and so it might not seem like a huge deal to not pass a STAR test, um, but what happens to these students is if they don't, they have to go through really extensive tutoring, either before or after school or in the summer. You only get three attempts to take the test, and if you don't take it, either you have to stay behind a grade, or you have to take an alternative assessment decided by, designed by administrators, um, other teachers, etc. And the teachers are really heavily evaluated based on their student star performances and their uh, percentile rankings. And the government grants to schools are based on percentile rankings as well, which means that federal and state funding to schools is dependent on these numbers. Schools that have really high percentages get the most resources. And so a lot of these schools that are in low-income communities and don't have the resources continue to lose out on these based on a system that cycles through. Uh, so that means the teachers, in an attempt to get more resources for their students, are focused really heavily on the standardized testing curriculum. And that's proven that it doesn't have a ton of benefits for their overall development. Uh, so these are some examples. The top one is an example of a uh, star practice test for fourth grade math. It's a question focused on routing. And then the bottom one is an example, we won't like do these or anything, but it, um, it really has greater developmental effect because you get a chance to draw in this activity. Uh, you get a chance to understand physics and gravity because they talk about a car rolling down the hill for four or lower in order to get back to zero and around. Um, they talk, in addition, they get to create their own visual about this concept. And you can imagine that this is a lot more helpful for students to get a well-rounded experience in their schools. But because these students are, or these teachers are really focused on star performance, they're giving these students the top assessment all the time. That's a big focus in a lot of schools. And so for a lot of these students, we are the first exposure to these other categories. So star focuses heavily on cognitive development, and we're the people that go in and give them emotional, physical, and social opportunities in order to help them grow in ways that can't be found in schools. Even though a lot of the activities we do aren't explicitly defined as play, uh, we still give them a good chance to get up and get moving, which sometimes doesn't happen if they're stuck at a desk. We give them a chance to work with their peers, work with us as peers, which is super important, and a chance to even just talk to us is super helpful. Um, they won't necessarily like spill their life story to you or anything, um, which can be intimidating, but like sometimes just having a chance to work with a mentor and talk to a mentor really fosters emotional development. So things that you can do, you can go, first of all. Um, and then as you go, Philanthropy Committee does a lot of the activity designs, but just as you're in day-to-day -day conversation with our kids, give them a chance to express their passions because they have things that they're passionate about just as we do and they benefit so much from talking about it. Um, and then work on connecting them with the students that they're also with because these are friends that they have and it's really, really important for them to be around their peers um, and for them to be around us. I know that a lot of students, as, or a lot of us as well, um, are on the philanthropy committee and don't plan on going into the teaching field, but a lot of people like kids. I hope you like kids. Um, and if you have activity suggestions, don't be afraid to like send them to Emma, send them to someone on the philanthropy committee, 
because they can be really helpful. I know over this past semester we've made cookies with the kids, we've made slime and ice cream, and those are so beneficial for them to just like get moving and get talking to people. Um, and then stay aware of this because these kids that are five miles away from us right now are just like so many kids all over the country. So it's just really important to focus on these uh, aspects of their development and to give kids a chance whenever you can. So please go to Boys and Girls Club. Thank you.